I just like toast. I like toast. You don't have to toast it. I like toast. Hey guys, it's Candace from The Edgy Veg, and today I'm going to show you how to make three easy back-to-school sandwiches that are completely vegan. Subscriber of the Week this week is Dayron1869, and you are Subscriber of the Week this week because you pre-ordered my cookbook. Yay! And if you would like to pre-order the cookbook, just click right here. It has all brand new recipes, some of which are sandwiches that are perfect for back to school as well. So just click here and pre-order. If you want to be Subscriber of the Week next week, make sure that I see you. Click on the links in the description box below. Make sure that you follow, like, and subscribe all of our videos, and you can be Subscriber of the Week next week. The sandwiches I'm going to show you how to make today, two of them were my personal favorites when I was in school growing up. My mom made them all the time. And then the third one is just something fun I threw together because I eat the sandwich all the time and it's perfect for kids. It's really delicious and it's really good for adults too. The first sandwich we're going to make is a vegan egg salad sandwich. It's the traditional egg salad sandwich recipe just with a vegan twist. The second sandwich is a herbed chicken salad sandwich recipe. And sandwich number three is a delicious sweet potato and hummus sandwich. To mimic the eggs in the egg salad sandwich, I'm going to use medium tofu. Now if you can't find medium tofu, you can use firm or soft, but I find medium has like a really authentic hard boiled egg texture. So that's what we're going to use. The first thing we want to do is completely drain that. So I find the easiest way to do this is just to take paper towel, lots of it, and then just squish not too hard, but squish the water out of the tofu and then leave it in a colander while you make the rest of the recipe. While our tofu is draining, I'm gonna create the mayo or the dressing sauce for this egg salad sandwich. To make the dressing, we are going to need a quarter cup of vegan mayo. If you're not into mayo, you can also do this with avocado. It just won't be as authentic. One tablespoon Dijon mustard, two to three tablespoons of nutritional yeast, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon turmeric. Then add a quarter teaspoon of paprika, and I like to do about half a teaspoon of black salt. If you don't have black salt, you can use normal salt. Black salt just gives it like a nice sulfur egg flavor, and then you can add more salt to taste. So you just wanna whisk that together, give it a little taste. If you think it needs a bit more salt, add more salt. If you like pepper, add more pepper. Using your hands, we're just gonna crumble the tofu right into the sauce mixture. Once we've done that, just mix it all together and then season to taste again. If you need to add more mayo, add that now. If you need to add more salt, add that now. If you want it to be more yellow, add more turmeric. It's a party. It's a salad party. Now you can just totally go with this, put that on a sandwich and call it a day, but I like to add some herbs and some vegetables to my egg salad sandwich. So we're gonna add some finely chopped celery, some parsley, and some dill. Mix that all together and again season to taste. I like to leave this in the fridge for about 30 minutes because that really helps the flavors kind of develop and it helps marinate the tofu as well. I like to do it even overnight if you have the time. If not, you can just throw it on a sandwich and call it a day. When your tofu is marinated, we are ready to build our sandwich. Now I really don't know which one is my personal favorite, so before you ask me that in the comment section, I really don't know. It's like asking me to choose between my dogs or the children that I don't have. You can't have a favorite, but I'm gonna try them all for you, even though I know that they're already delicious. This is so good. It's so delicious. The medium tofu is just the best thing ever. I also use medium tofu in my tofu scramble because it mimics the texture of eggs so well. Thanks to the addition of the black salt, this tastes exactly like an egg salad sandwich. If you don't know where to buy black salt, it's super, super cheap and you can buy it online. I'll leave a link in the description box below. It is like a game changer if you wanna make egg tasting vegan food. Sandwich number two is a herbed vegan chicken salad sandwich. Now you can do this with seitan that you've made at home or bought from the store. I just like to use like tofurkey or Beyond Meats chicken strips. They're easy and perfect. You just wanna roughly chop those strips up. The key to this herbed chicken salad sandwich is that you marinate the chicken. We're gonna do that by chopping up half an onion, throwing it into a bowl, adding two tablespoons of oil, half a tablespoon of lemon juice, some salt and pepper, and then throw the chicken in there and toss it all together. Now you're gonna toss that into the fridge to marinate for about 30 minutes while you make your dressing. To make the dressing, all you need is about a quarter cup of vegan mayonnaise, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon thyme, then we're gonna add some chives in there. Add some parsley, a tablespoon of dried dill. Mix that all together, and then you're gonna set it aside until the chicken's been marinated. 
Once your chicken has marinated in all those wonderful juices, we're just gonna toss it right into the dressing and then throw some celery in there. I mean, you can really add any vegetable you want. I just like celery and like chicken and egg salad sandwiches, but you can add peppers or carrots, really anything that your heart desires. Now that we have our chicken salad, throw it onto a sandwich. We have a place here in Canada called Tim Hortons, and when I was younger, I always got the chicken salad sandwich that they have on their menu, and it actually looked very similar to this. Mmm, I'm such a messy eater. You know, all this fake meat has come such a long way. This tastes exactly like chicken. Sandwich number three is a sweet potato and hummus sandwich. Now this is my take on the typical sandwich that you get at a sandwich place that's labeled like vegetarian and usually has goat cheese on it. So we removed the goat cheese and we added hummus instead. The first thing we have to do is peel and slice two sweet potatoes. Then we're gonna coat it in some olive oil, some cumin, salt and pepper, and throw it into the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes or until they're soft. Once your sweet potatoes are roasted, you can just take them out of the oven, set them aside and wait till they're cool, or if you want them hot in your sandwich, you can build your sandwich right away. To build this sandwich, we are going to take our favorite bread, I just like like a whole grain rye, it's delicious, spread some hummus on there, then we are going to add some alfalfa sprouts on top. I just love alfalfa sprouts in sandwiches. I really have no other use for them in life, so sandwiches are a great vehicle for them. This one really is just like a very adult friendly sandwich. It doesn't use mayonnaise like the other ones do. It's not your typical back to school sandwich type of lunch that every kid has. And I've made it for kids and they seem to like it. The flavors and textures are so complimentary, especially if you toast the bread. Then you have a little bit of crunch. You've got like the softness from the sweet potato, but it's also nice and sweet. Then you have the herbiness from the basil. It's so yummy. And there you have it. A sandwich for every child in your neighborhood or every friend in your dorm or every coworker in your cubicle. Hopefully you don't have to share a cubicle. I'm sorry if you do. Now I highly recommend that you make all three and leave me a comment below letting me know which one is your favorite. My personal favorite is the egg salad sandwich because as a kid I loved it. It was my favorite sandwich. And like the kids next to me kind of looked at me weird because my lunch always smelled, but oh my God, it was so good. So when I figured out how to do this, very happy Candace. Anyway, I hope you guys liked these recipes. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to check out this link to buy my book. It's also in the description box below. I would love for you guys to pre-order it. There's brand new recipes. I'm very, very proud of it. It's probably the best thing I've ever been able to work on. So I would love for you to share it. So make sure that you do click this link and pre-order it. And I will see you guys next week. Bye!